Hi kids today we will learn about sun moon and eclipse so let's start Kids let us know about something new of sun the sun is a star it appears has a big ball of hot burning gases it is mostly made of hydrogen gas about 70% The sun is a responsible for the changes in climate and weather of the earth. These are the some facts of sun. The sun is nearly 4.6 billion years old. It is nearly spherical shape and has a diameter of about 13 lakh 92000 km. The temperature at the center of the sun reaches about 15 billion degrees Celsius. It made of 70% hydrogen, 28% helium and 2% of other gases. Moon. The moon is a heavenly body that orbits around the earth. Therefore it known as the natural satellite of earth the distance between moon to earth is 384400 km it appear has a dry gray colored ball of rocks moon is made of three layers core crust and metal it does not have its own light kids let us know the condition of the moon The temperature of moon during the day around 100 degrees Celsius. The surface of the moon during the night around minus 173 degrees Celsius. Kids, let us know some people who landed on the moon. The first spacecraft to land on the moon was Apollo 11. It carried three American astronauts, Neil Armstrong, Bruce Aldrin, and Michael Collins, to the moon on 21st July in 1969. Kids, do you know the phases of the moon? If you know, then you can write your answer in comment box. Different portion of the moon are illuminated by the sun. at different times during its rotation this illuminated portions appear to change shape when viewed from the earth this changing shape of the moon are known as the phases of the moon this is the diagram of phases of the moon the first one is half moon second one is new moon third one is crescent moon fourth one is gibbous moon fifth one is full moon kids let us know about why the new moon is occurred in this phase the illuminated side of the moon in always from the earth the side of the moon facing the earth receive no sunlight and hence cannot be seen from the earth this phase is called the new moon the crescent moon in this phase a small portion of illuminated side of a moon is facing towards the earth so a small portion of a moon can be seen from the earth it is called the crescent moon Kids let us know that why the half moon is occur when half portion of a illuminated side of a moon is facing towards the earth we can see a half of the moon from the earth it call half moon
keep bus moon when a large portion of a illuminated side of a moon is facing towards the earth we can see a large portion of a moon from the earth it called the gibbous moon audio jungle the last phase of moon is full moon when the entire portion of a illuminated side of the moon faces toward the earth we can see the perfectly round moon it known as the full moon kids we have completed the sun moon and phases of the moon tomorrow we will learn about eclipse and artificial satellite so thank you for watching kids bye bye